welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little flip through, a little share and tell on the 12 journals, uh, lots of writing space junk journals I have been working on for about a month and a half, but uh, they turned out fine. I'm, I like, well, oh, got thuds all over, but I'm going to show you what they kind of look like from the, uh, the, what the finished product looks like. Okay, so I stuck them all in this box. And there's 12 of them. I have two blue ones, two greenish brown ones, two pink ones, and six brown ones for, you know, neutrals, neutrals. So, and uh, what I did with all of these, like I said in another video, there's 32 pages in each of these. And my original thought was to have uh, one per month. This could be a whole year of journals, one per month, you know, January, February, March, April, May, June, you know, mix them all up and then put them all in one binder and each would ha be a subject. Or for me, I was thinking more of a Bible journal subject, but you know, whatever you wanted it to be, whatever I wanted it to be. So, but I, I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I really like how they turned out. Um, what I did with all of them, is I gave each one a a plate, a cover plate, uh, a title plate, so that I could, you know, title it if it's going to be a month or a subject. It would go right there. And I did some sewing on this, and I put a closure on every one of them with a little bead. And these are just wind around closures with um, brats. And inside every cover has some sort of a pocket or belly band. And then this brown one, I went kind of plain on the brown ones. I didn't embellish at all, I don't think, anyway. But lots, like I said, these are lots of writing space journals for subjects or otherwise, a belly band in here. And I gotta tell you the sewing, oh, I just realized this is, oh, did I put that on the bag? Oh, I did, this is upside down. But that's right side up. I'm not gonna worry about it. Who else has done that? Make it upside down. Ugh. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's um, those are my little journals. But then there's this little bead on it, which it's with you know. This is some twine that I picked up at a Goodwill. It's nice and sturdy, and that's what I did the um, spine on with as well. And then yeah, I put some cloth on each one of them. And yeah, let me just give you a little quick see, look see through all these. Really quick see, look sees. Yep. Get the, put a lot of washi tape on this one because it was kind of funky on the edges. And I did not sew all the way around this thing. I didn't like that part. There's a pocket, a little corner pocket. Just coffee dyed and just regular old stuff. And washi tape on there. So this one was didn't have, you know, um, the I mod podge these, but the corners on some of them were lifting up, so that's why I sewed them. This one didn't have that problem, or this one. This one was pretty pretty sturdy. Oops, there's the front. So you get the idea. You get the idea of how of what the purpose of these are. Then I've got several. I spent a lot of time on these. Some some more than others. Like I didn't spend as much time on this one as I did on this one because simply in fact I have the sewing on it. So yeah, this paper was really cool. And this was a great way to use up scraps too. And I've got a lot of different kinds of writing paper that I just needed to use up. And I got I had a got a my friend's garage sale. I got a bin of brads. So I have a lot of those I could use. So I figured that's the kind of closure I was going to make. Did I show that one? Doesn't matter. They're all about the same. Oops, that's backwards. So there's that and the blue one. I think I showed you one of my blue ones. And this one has an elastic band closure. I have some elastic there that I found at, I'm not sure, Walmart, I think, maybe. But yeah, this one is just just a um oh yeah anyway back to the spine this one is just the elastic band on the inside where's my center so you can add pages to it oh and in the in the colored ones i put in a a flat hardboard so that 
these are, these have a little more bumps in them. There's, you know, if you're gonna write on it, you're gonna be bumpy on that side. So you're gonna want maybe this to, you know, make sure there's no bumps. I don't know. Anyway, it's, or you could use it for another junk journal, whatever. It's a nice size and it's flat and it's really sturdy. It's just cardstock or mailers that, you know, you get. Anyway, so put a little coordinating uh, bind on that. So did I show the middle? Yeah, so there's the middle. And you can add more pages if you want to, if it, you know, that's a thought. And then coordinating bead and that with it. And this one's sewing went all the way around in, in uh, just right angles. And I made this a little bit different with a different edge. So, and again, lots of brads I got to use through this, from this. Yeah. Yep. Same kind of a thing. Unwind that. Oh, oh, what I wanted to show you. And the colored ones as well. I, I went through my stash of clips and washies and uh, whatever things I had blue, for, for instance, for the blue ones. And I just attached it on the inside so what it... It'd be nice to have those when you're going through it. And I just realized this right here is coming a little bit loose. That's not cool. But yeah, used up lots of scraps. So that that was a that's always a win when I can use up scraps. And another writing board. I have a name for this and I'll think of it in the middle of the night probably. Here's the green and brown one. Just, uh, I did stitched, see I stitched all the way over and round, went that way and then up and down. And here's some green things that I had to put in there. There's a pocket. And uh, this is actually, you know, a pamphlet stitch, so. And here's the board to write, use for writing. And this one appended zigzag and went uh, crisscross. Crisscross? No, I went 90 degrees. Oops, that's upside down. Da da da. And a little bit different there too. And this has a lot of bumps on it, so definitely, I think I might have gotten the idea to put in one of those writing boards because of the bumps on this one. Because there's lots of additions and but I would spend a little more time on the colored ones. So, yeah, that's not fun. That's just, it's one of my Cricut cutouts. One of the negatives. And here's an envelope that has a pocket right there. And I didn't cover up this. And it's a little bumpy. Hopefully papers won't get snagged on it, but that's, that's gonna be the nature of these. This one I had hearts, aren't those cute? Little heart broads. This looks like February to me. And this was just crisscross or whatever, right, right angles. And I got tired of sewing, honestly. That just really started to get on my nerves. And this is another one of those elastic bands that uh, is the binding for this, the spine. Again, so you can add more pages. And another board to write on. And last but not least, whoops, spinning it around. Yeah, elastic there. Point of interest. Yeah, I did right angles on this for sewing. That's kind of fun. This was ribbon and it was pretty thick and I thought, oh, that'd be a great, really, really firm spine but it was hard to work with. So I ended up having to sew it some more and glue it some extra. And here's a belly band that I made with negatives from a Cricut cutout and then some pink um, accent things, you know, paper clips and post-it notes and things. Here's the middle and here's this writing board and there's the elastic. So it was fun. I enjoyed making these, but I didn't, I didn't go too nuts as far as decorating is concerned. But all right, so there is that. 
I like them. I think it's fun. I was glad to have the project done because 12 is a lot. 12 is a lot, even even though it was, oh no, we're tangled. Oh, whoops, a daisy. Let go. Oh, I'll figure that out later. So yeah, 12, 12 is a lot, but um, like I said, it used up a lot of scraps. As you can tell, this Franken paper, lots of scraps, fabric scraps, uh, used up washi tape and uh, and it was it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And I encourage you to make smaller journals if you really if you get hung up on the decoration of those really fancy ones, make a simple one. Just make a simple one. And that will that will get you back in the groove that will so you feel like you're not overwhelmed. These didn't overwhelm me because I could do a little bit at a time. Do it in stages. Okay, that's it for today. Love you guys. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, everyone, God bless.